Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. Now I've been meaning to make this video for quite some time, ever since Michael at Good Deal Games contacted me about a project that he's been trying to get off the ground, that is publishing homebrews for the Sega Master System. Now I know from visiting SMS Power that there are a lot of homebrews for the Master System, the only problem is very few of them have been physically released. In fact, I only have two. Now, I've posted about this in the forums at SMS Power, but now I'm making an appeal here on YouTube. If you or anybody you know has, is working on, or will be working on a homebrew for the Master System, please let Michael at Good Deal Games know. I will put all the contact information down in the comment section of this video. The two I have are from the same programmer. In fact, at SMS Power he goes by the name of Dragon Feet. This is from 2012 Bread and Butter. Help aspiring chef Bread and her well-fed follower Butter gather rare ingredients from around the world to create the Bread of Legend. One or two players can play at the same time in arcade-style platforming action, only on the Master System. There's nowhere, anywhere in the text is the name Sega. For use with the Master System, copyright 2012, this is a homebrew game. It is not a licensed Master System game. Now uh, this is a rather simple affair. When I showed a video of a homebrew that I have for, that I recently got, in fact, for the Atari 2600, it came in a case just like this. That's designed to hold cartridges of various sizes, including cartridges for the Master System. Rather basic label. But it gets the job done, and I've had this game for a number of years, and it's, the label's still on there just fine. Now, it has just a mini manual, but I don't think Michael would uh, be adverse to releasing a game, a homebrew for the Master System with a mini manual, manual because he releases games for other systems with many manuals already. Now, this next one supports the light phaser. But when I first got it, I didn't have a light phaser, so I could only play it with a control pad. I hope I don't mess this up. Pork Polis from 2014 for one player. Help Urchin the Pig fly home. Use your light phaser or control pad to shoot ghosts, bats, ghouls, and flying silverware before they turn your pig into bacon. Welcome to Porkpolis, City of Pigs. Now I know from the forums that Digger Chan was another homebrew that got a physical release, but I haven't found a copy. It has a whole series of uh, instructions for using a D-pad controller. However, for the light phaser, all it says is point gun at target, pull the trigger, repeat. The game can end in one of two ways. You can lose all your health during a round. Health refills to a predetermined level at the beginning of each round, nine rounds. 
nine for round one, eight for round two, six for round three, or complete all three rounds ten times to reach the ending. Special thanks to everyone at SMS Power for their excellent technical documentation of the Master System. Also, also thanks to everyone who has purchased a homebrew cartridge for me over the last three years. I've made over 250 NES and SMS cartridges, carts, and I really don't plan on stopping. List his email address. I need to get on that too. I've tried contacting him through the forums at SMS Power, where I'm also known as Cessna Ace, and haven't heard back from him. So, again, if you or anybody you know has uh, programmed a homebrew for the Master System, is programming a homebrew for the Master System, or is planning on programming a homebrew for the Master System, get in touch with Michael at Good Deal Games. Contact information down there. And until next time, stay awesome.